the unfortunate part is for a lot of the people that are uh, calling around getting price quotes, um, I will take the time to explain the differences as best as I can. Um, a lot of stores don't. So if you if you just call around and you get a really cheap price, the likelihood is that you're getting an LCD, but a lot of the times the shop doesn't take the time to explain that you're getting an LCD or explain any of the downsides. So this is that video. I'm gonna start with the downsides um, and there are uh, sort of four in no particular order. Uh, the most immediately noticeable about LCD screens is the display, the brightness and display slash color contrast. Um, there is, and I'm gonna show you, uh, cause I actually have basically a side-by-side -side comparison of LCD versus a you know genuine Apple screen, um, but they are not nearly as bright and the colors are quite a bit off. Uh, now for some people, this doesn't bug them that much. Um, and for other people, you know, it's something that you'll just get used to over, over time. There are a couple more things. Um, one is LCDs drain the battery considerably faster uh, than, you know, essentially what the device is supposed to have from the factory. Um, they also have a considerably thicker bezel. Once again, so this doesn't really bug um, some people. Um, one of the things that gets under my skin most is that LCDs have the highest propensity to have defects. And I would say this is more or less accurate, um, but as you mentioned, uh, lower contrast level, uh, you know, the bezel, uh, which is what they mean by thicker and less flexible. So thicker is what they're, the, the bezel they're talking about slower response time. So like when you're texting, scrolling, swiping, it's just not as responsive um, and also inaccurate colors. So that's once again, going back to just the display quality, um, specifically in relation to um, the 13 Pro and Pro Max, um, Apple introduced uh, a feature where the screen from the factory, as long as you have a genuine Apple screen or a genuine Apple refurb, it has the ability to um, what is it, uh, dial up or down the refresh rate from 10 hertz all the way to 120 hertz. Um, but pretty much all of the aftermarkets as of this video, as of this recording, can only do 60 hertz. So for some people, you'll get used to a very smooth, you know, very buttery, um, you know, when you're scrolling, you're doing any, any sort of movement, it can dial up the refresh rate considerably. And when you're just reading something, it goes all the way down to 10 hertz, which helps save your battery life. Well, um, yeah, that's one of the big issues that the aftermarket community or the, you know, basically the factories in China had an incredibly hard time replicating. So as of now, we are just at 60 Hertz that might change in the future. This is pretty much the only benefit in my experience, lower cost. So specifically in relation to price, um, this is something that I think about a lot. Uh, the bitterness of poor quality is remembered long after the sweetness of low price has faded from memory. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this already. If I have, I'm gonna edit this out. Um, but like I said, something that happens a lot of the times is if you're just price shopping and you don't know what you're getting, uh, far too often customers get LCDs when they didn't even know that, that that's what they were getting. Uh, so just keep this in mind um, when you are shopping around.